Good afternoon. This is Bishop Robert Williams from God's Miracle Ministry and Prophetic Information Ministries. Today is July 20th, 2020. This is part two on my teaching on the Holy Communion. So I would like for all of you to maybe pause this video and get your elements ready so we can take the Holy Communion together. You know, the Lord put this on my heart uh, a while back to do uh, a teaching on the Holy Communion. And uh, today's the day that I'll be giving this out to you. I was, last night, the Lord gave me a dream. And he told me in this dream to do this teaching today. So that's why I'm here, but... This morning I was laying in my bed and thinking about what the Lord told me in the, in, in, the, in the dream. And then the Lord said, get up and go to the park and do this video. As you can see, I am in a park here in Logan, West Virginia. It's a beautiful park. It's a beautiful day outside. It's, it's, I'm under a covering, so it's not that hot. But it's, it's warm, but it's tolerable. So I just thank God for bringing me out here today to, to see this park. I've already seen a mama deer and two or three of her little babies following her. Very beautiful out here. Uh, there's a few people out in the park and enjoying it. There's a few people at the swimming pool. I would love to go jump into that. But let's get on with today's teaching. This is called the Holy Communion Prayer. We're going to get ready to take Holy Communion because the Lord wants us to have an intimate relationship with Him. He wants to get closer to you and He wants to get closer to me. And we do that by having communion with Him. To taking His body and blood and we need to start reading our Bibles more I know there's a lot of people out there hurting a lot of people can't go to church and have Holy Communion anymore but you can do it at your house and you can do it with me right here because the Lord has ordained for such a time as this so Let's continue with today's teaching. Jesus, this is your body. As often as I take it, I do it in remembrance of you to proclaim your death. This is your flesh, not a representation. Your flesh is my true food. I will not toil for the food that perishes, it uses. But rather, I toil for the food that leads to eternal life. He who eats your flesh shall never hunger again. He who eats your flesh and drinks your blood shall never die. He shall have eternal life with you. Jesus shall raise him up at the last days. He who eats your flesh and drinks your blood shall abide in you forever. Do you want that? Now, Lord Jesus, as I hold your flesh, I've got the, the matzo cracker here. Now, Lord Jesus, as I hold your flesh, I know from Isaiah 53 that punishment is upon the flesh was for my peace and well-being. Therefore, I eat your flesh 
and I receive peace and well-being. Your flesh carries my guilt, shame, condemnation, and accusation made against me by Satan himself. In every demonic spirit, in every human being who will be used by Satan to attack me. Your flesh carries the sorrows, the pain, rejection, which will be shot at me like an arrow. However, Jesus, what despises and rejected of men? Therefore, I will give all my rejections to carry. I will give you all my rejections to carry. I will never make the mistake and fall into the trap of turning rejection into anger, bitterness, and resentment. Instead, I will give Jesus all my rejection, and I will carry none of it. Your flesh carries my sins. Therefore, I am free. Through your wounds, I am healed mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. As I eat your flesh, I become one with you. As a bride and groom becomes one through intimacy. As I eat your flesh, now I become one with you and receive according to your word perfect and complete healing. Now you may eat the bread. This is your blood, not a representation. I drink it often. I do to proclaim the Lord's death. The blood washes away my sin, and the blood sanctifies me. It separates me unto purity. I may worship you. The life in the blood. Life is in the blood. As I drink your blood, I receive your life in me. I become one with you and receive your life. You may now drink. Praise God. Praise God. The Lord loves you. He really does. You may, you may be at your home, your office, and you think you might, you may not think that the Lord cares, or is there a God? There is a God. He loves you. That's why you're here today watching this video, because He loves you. And I want to see all of you, thousands of you who are watching this video. I want to see you all come to heaven and be with the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, we are living in very uncertain times. You're seeing the rise of the Antichrist. But the Lord Jesus is right there with you. He cares about you. He loves you. So don't worry. Don't worry about tomorrow. The Lord has you in his hands. He has you. He has your back. So I would encourage you to continue to take Holy Communion 
as often as you can. Because the more that we do this, the more you're showing your love toward the Lord. You want to be intimate with Him. You want to be the bride of Christ. He wants you to be a holy before Him. As you've seen in my previous video, I just recently did just a few minutes ago. He wants an intimate relationship with you. He wants you to go to the next level because he is raising us all to the next level. And when we become holy before him, we get elevated. And as we do this, as we walk through the next door, the door will shut behind us. And there is no going back. You know, I have taken a leap of faith and I left Kansas City a little over three months ago to come to Logan, West Virginia to become an associate pastor down here. And I thank God for the opportunity of bringing me down here. But... He is calling me to something else. I'm going to the next level with him. You know, this has not been an easy call for me to do. I left my home with my son. It was nice and cool in the house. I had my own office. I had my own business. I had a lawn business and I was making pretty good money. But I give all that up to follow my call of God, to follow Jesus. I give it all up. Yes, he's blessed me with a, a, a newer car out there so I can make these trips. He is going to open up many more doors for me to speak at different churches, different revivals. And, and this has begun. You know, the place I'm at right now, the parsonage that I'm in, it has no air conditioning and it gets around 90 degrees in the house. I've lost over 16 pounds because of this. I thank God for me losing the weight. I need to do that. But it's a little hard. It's hard on me. You know, even though I've got two fans on me, that just doesn't cut it. But that's okay. I will do whatever the Lord requires me to do. I was told there was going to be test by Jack Cole Jr. when I got this anointing from him. You know, I asked for the full impartation for the healing and miracle ministry and the double portion of the Elijah and Elijah anointing. I was told there was going to be test. Yes, a lot of tests have, have already happened with me. And you can watch some of my videos to find out what those tests were. And this is just another one. But there's big blessings about ready to start. Big blessings about ready to hit. I pray to God that he will give me a wife. A good godly wife. And that's possibly in the works right now. I just have to be patient. But... We'll see what happens. I'll move wherever God wants me to move. I'll do anything it takes to fulfill my destiny. And I hope that you too will do anything it takes to fulfill your destiny, to do your call of God, because we are all important to the kingdom of God. That's right, you are important. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be watching this video if you wasn't in, in, important to God. Because you love Him and you want to get closer to Him. Continue to take Holy Communion. If you need to watch this video over again to take Holy Communion, do so. 
Well, I'm going to go ahead and close this segment of the video. I may do another one after this. And just to speak from the heart. But I'm going to close this teaching up on the Holy Communion. I hope this has blessed you. And I hope this has changed your life. But let me pray for you first. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I want to thank you for bringing everyone here who you want to see this video. And let this video go out around the world. Bless all the people. I speak healing into your life. Physical, mental, spiritual, and fi financial healing into your life. Lord, heal them. Give them the finances they need to do your work and to survive in this time that we are in. Heal them, Lord. Thank you, Lord God, and forgive them of all their sins. Forgive them, Lord, and have mercy upon your land as we all humble ourselves before you in this troubling time. I ask that you heal America and heal the world. And I thank you, Lord, for everything you're doing and what you're about ready to do. In Jesus' name I pray, amen and amen. And if you want to help support my ministry as I travel through the South, so I can preach at other churches, you know, I have hotel expenses, I have car payments, insurance payments, cell phone payments. If you want to help my ministry of God's Miracle Ministry dot com, please go to the website and donate by Givelify or PayPal and you will get a receipt and I'll send you out some brochures to tell you more about the ministry and uh, so I, I just pray that God will put a figure upon your heart and you donate into this ministry because I want to do my will of God. And if you want me to come to your church, contact me, send me an email, or even call me up. And that way we'll discuss it. And uh, if the finances are there, I'm there. And you will see signs and wonders and great miracles happen. Well, I'm going to close for now. And I'll see you on the next video. God bless you. This is Bishop Robert Williams from God's Miracle Ministry.com.